So not only then um, having your own horse uh, and, and you know and starting that, this took you um, on an amazing journey then of opening up lots of other opportunities for you and you actually ended up with your own riding school. Oh yeah. So, so tell, tell us a little bit about how, how, how did this come about? <laughs> it, it was a thing as the whole journey with horses and everything was, it was a thing that was never planned. Having a horse and pony in livery obviously, people know the horses and people talk to people about horses, you know it's quite an expensive thing with your bed and your feeding and everything. So eventually we moved to this farm where we had our own horse and pony on our own land, which was great to roll out of bed in the morning and have it there all the time in front of you. And things just grew with competing with the horses and getting extra ponies and eventually having buildings and all the land. I wanted to be like my friend Iona and I just wanted to go into teaching. So started doing all my exams and just like things can grow arms and legs that on then led on to having a riding school so that I could let people enjoy riding as I had done through all the years. Um, and not only the riding, with riding in the schools, I enjoyed so much riding out the Seske, going hacks and everything. And I wanted then to have my trekking centre too so that tourists could come as well and enjoy the experience of riding out in the countryside. So from having one horse or pony, it ended up to having, <laughs> I won't say how many, <laughs> but lots of horses and ponies. <laughs>